Jesus got up from the grave. Yeah. And I notice also in this chapter that uh, oh Isaac, uh, he never did leave the mountain. Right. And then Abraham's the only one come down. I'm glad that Jesus ever lived yeah. to make intercession for yeah. us. Yeah. Chapter number 23. Well, what happened after Calvary? Well, Israel went into exile. And Israel was rejected. And we notice there that Sarah dies. And chapter number 23 is a picture of Israel being set aside. Why is that? Because chapter 24 is about to unfold. Chapter 24, Abraham gets his eldest servant. And he sends his eldest servant, a type of the Holy Ghost, after a bride for his son Isaac. Yeah. Amen. I'm glad he came for a bride. Yeah. I'm glad yeah. that he's still coming in 2013 yeah. for his bride. And his bride's just about made up. Amen. Yeah. Well, we know there that, uh, uh, that the servant left the father's house and he went to another land uh, and he come back with a bride. But let's look at how it all took place and, and uh, let's see what the Lord's got for us out of that. And I notice here in verse number 57, the Bible says uh, that, and they said, we will call the damsel and inquire at her mouth. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those which hate them. And, and Rebekah arose, and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels, and followed the man. And the servant took Rebekah and went his way. And I'll stop right there uh, for the second time. And I notice here uh, uh, it says Rebecca arose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels. Amen. And I want to preach this morning just for a little bit the Holy Ghost to be in our help of a camel called grace. Amen. Yeah. I'm glad for a camel called grace. Yeah. Thank God for listen here. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for grace, uh, yeah. this little boy here. Yeah.
when the camel arrived. Right. Yeah. Mm, listen here, if a camel don't get there, you ain't going. That's right. You hear me? Amen. I said, if a camel don't get hooked, yeah, if right. a camel don't pull up, you ain't going. Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm dead the holy. There ain't nobody going to get saved apart from the holy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Come on, yeah. I just swear I'm not ladies. that tries to take the holy. Yeah. 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 Which way to go? 
me anyway. And I figure out that he ain't gonna give in to me. That's right. Yeah, ain't that the truth? I mean, I tried my best to get the Lord to give in. Uh -huh. I mean, I really thought, you know, surely, you know, I'm passing the church out there all the time. I can see what's wrong. Uh huh. He ought to kill them four right. or five there and just right. get right. them out of my hand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, brother. Yeah. I didn't even ask him. I may have been wrong, but I asked him two or three times. Just, yeah. Right. Just got to get my way and get him out of the way. Yeah. He didn't pay no attention to me. Yeah. He said, I ain't the way I'm going. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He said, yeah. if you want to ride, just well, get on, well, maybe, well, and, and we'll go this way. And you know what? I say, hold up now. We need to do it this way. It ain't no way. It's going to mess the church up, Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> but eventually, yeah. I just said, all right, let's go your way. Uh -huh. That's right. And guess what? I just want you to know, we've got a pretty decent church now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> turns out, amen, that I was the dummy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, turns out that I ain't, I'm a nobody. Yeah. And then I'm absolutely, as they say, a zero with a real road dog. It might do us all a lot of good. Yeah. Amen. It might do us all a lot of good to figure out that we don't really know which way to go, which way to turn, or what to do. Just say, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with dropping your pride and saying, I don't know. I don't care how long you've been pastoring or preaching or teaching. Just say, I don't know. i got to go to God with it. Or go on using his resources. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me and Brother Josh <clears throat> was dropped out in the desert. And this dry out there, we wouldn't make it long. Mm -hmm. We ain't built for it. Right. Ain't that something God saved us? And uh, if it wasn't for that camel, if it wasn't for a camel called grace, right. we wouldn't make it. Right. No. Right. Last time I read it was saved by grace. Too. Yes. Amen. 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 He saved us, but listen, if he'd have left us half of the well yeah. and it hadn't let us get on the camel, You're we right. would have never made it. Amen. Amen. Right, brother. Amen. Amen. I don't care how good you think you are. That's right. I don't care how sweet you think you are. You're right. You mean as a devil.
his route. Uh-huh. I want to use his resources. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. But I might as well use his refuge, too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sure. That's right. Them old camel riders. <laughs> You know why they got towels on their head? Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on. Because that sand blows. Yeah, why, well, sure. That sand, they such things a bad sandstorm. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. They such things a bad sandstorm that, that can get all in your eyes and your ears and, and all your cabbage. It'll get all over you if you don't cover up. That's right. Oh. Listen here, I'm telling you, I, I don't know what, you got to go through the desert to get the glory land, uh, and you're going to encounter some storms uh, and some difficult times, uh, some windy seasons, uh, and I'm telling you uh, that the camel uh, is made for it. Uh, why don't you hide uh, in the refuge of the caveman? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, good. That camel has got a set of eyelids. Yes, Right. Now I'm gonna just be honest with you. You try to look yes, in a storm yeah. and see which way to go. You're gonna get blinded. Right. I mean, anybody ever had one grain of sand in your eye? Yeah. I'm talking about just one. Yeah. I, I don't know if it gets anywhere. That's bad. Yeah. You go. The first thing that we want to do whenever we get in a storm is we want to get our binoculars out and look down the road and see what's ahead. Oh, but listen, my friend, I'm telling you the camel has a special set of eyelids that'll let down and he can see through the sandstorm. He can see through and the sand won't hurt his eyes. Amen.
Tim Campbell's got testimony of grace. I'm glad he's got a good testimony. Amen. Amen. He's riding them camels, been through the sandstorm, been through all kind of winds and adversities and all kind of bad things. I wonder every once in a while when the sun come out and she got a clear view. I wonder if she looked ahead <laughs> and tried to see what's down the road. Uh -huh. Maybe there, maybe, maybe there from a long distance when I'm when the clouds were peeled back, maybe one day she looked and she seen some greenery way down the road. And I believe not only as she looked, I believe that she seen that greenery. I believe that she had a longing in her heart to get over there where the good stuff is. God bless his name. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking, I'm looking for him one of these days. My camel's going to pull up. Yeah, man. Sorry. You ain't going. 